So the BJP clearly has scored a hat-trick of victory in Madhya Pradesh Assembly elections. Uh, Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Johan won in Budhani and Vidisha and he's all set to occupy the Chief Minister's chair for the third term. The BJP emerged victorious in 165 seats in the 230 member Madhya Pradesh Assembly. The Congress which won 72 seats last time has got just 58 this time while others have bagged seven seats. This is the third time in a row that the party has got a two-thirds majority in the state. Shivrat Singh Chauhan has thanked the people for giving him a fresh mandate and said he would continue to work for their welfare. Pradesh ko lagatar aage badhane ki koshish hogi aur sachmuch mein sabse pehle hum sab aadhar vyakt karte hain Madhya Pradesh ki saale chhe karoor janta ki unka sde, unka pyaar well, Vijay Kao is joining us this morning from Bhopal. Uh, Vijay, well, it was a sweeping victory, a resounding margin there, not just for Shivrat Singh Chauhan in the two elections that uh, he fought from two seats, in fact, but for his party who has swept to power in the state. Uh, clearly, with this win, Shivrat Singh Chauhan is going to claim his space as far as first amongst equals in the BJP is concerned. Exactly, Ruchika. And if you go by his contemporaries as well, whether you uh, call it Vasanth Rajesh Sindhya in Rajasthan or even uh, Raman Singh in Chhattisgarh, here in Madhya Pradesh, uh, uh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan's victory is being clearly and directly attributed to his own hard work, uh, his Jan Vikas Yatra that he undertaking. It was a very, very extensive Yatra. He was visiting a number of constituencies. Uh, in, during the entire period of that yatra. Uh, so therefore his hard work is what has reflected in the mandate that he received. Also, uh, by winning 165 seats in Madhya Pradesh, uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan has become also the first chief minister to uh, to have served the longest unbroken term. Also, uh, Ruchika, a little bit of trivia, no chief minister so far uh, who has served two terms has come in the to... third term with such a big margin. And therefore, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very, very huge victory. And the the humble man Shivraj Singh Chauhan really is. Uh, he attributed his victory to the party workers and also to the youth and the women uh, of the state. Back to you. Well, absolutely. Let me also go across to Devankur Vadavan, who's joining us from Jaipur a day after that thumping uh, victory for uh, Vasundra Rajay in the state. Uh, just take us through what's happening here on the, uh, the moves for government formation. I believe Arun Jaitley is flying into Jaipur uh, shortly to meet with the legislators and firm up those plans. Uh, BJP, uh, something that no BJP uh, government had seen before in Rajasthan. Uh, clearly, the process of government formation will take on from here onwards. Uh, uh, today, a meet of the legislature uh, 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 group of BJP is planned uh, in which Vasundra Rajay, uh, Arun Jaitley uh, are scheduled to be there. Uh, late night celebrations were happening yesterday, so the, uh, the, the, the meeting has been postponed by, uh, by around a couple of hours today. Uh, right now, I'm outside the, uh, the Vasundra Rajay residence in Jaipur, and clearly there are jubilatory scenes across BJP that were witnessed yesterday and even today morning so uh, the government pro, uh, the, the process of government formation will begin from here uh, Vasundra Raja was already a chief ministry, ministerial candidate of the BJP and clearly she will be anointed as the next chief minister of Rajasthan Ruchika all right and let me now go across uh, to Chhattisgarh uh, to Raipur in fact from where Jaskira Singh Bawa is joining us this morning it was a cliffhanger of sorts Jaskira right till the last moment we did not know which way it is going to go but finally Raman Singh sealing that victory uh, and uh, of course now the process of government formation that has to begin in the state. Well, that's right. And with five of his ministers actually getting voted out, with him actually losing a marginal amount of vote share, as well as seat, one seat, as compared to the last time, Raman Singh will have to do some introspection. It's not all uh, a celebration for him. It's not a landfall. Uh, we spoke with Raman Singh yesterday, last night, about a post-poll analysis of his own performance. And he says, yes, there are some things that we need to look into because the performance of this time around was not as good as the last time. So th there's actually been a dip of sorts. What we expect today is I'm actually at the BGP headquarters over here in Raipur. We're expecting all the winning as well as the losing candidates of BGP to congregate over here. There will be definitely some reason for celebration, but also at the same time, some of the grievances will also come up, are expected to come up as far as the problems that were being faced, even including the internal party politics that were uh, kind of a hindrance uh, for the BGP as well as the Congress for that matter. And those things are expected to come up. The government formation will also be taking uh, place over the next one week. Uh, this 
firing in will also be expected to be taking place in the next couple of days.